Well, hello there. That was a lot of dancing. Today, we're gonna look at British ways to talk about good songs. Now, I mean, it might seem like a little bit strange, like why do I need to know how to say a song is good in British? I mean British English. Well, there's a lot of slang in the UK to describe good songs. So sometimes this slang can cross over with American slang, so we sometimes use American words, but in general, we've got some pretty cool words for describing good songs. And you know, normally when you're in a situation of, <laughs> I'm so out of breath. <laughs> normally when you're in a situation of wanting to tell somebody that you have found an amazing song, it's a friend or it's, you know, somebody that you, you like sharing your music with and your hobbies with. So you want to be able to say it like in a, an informal way, in a cool way that expresses how you really feel about the song. So here are some very, very, very British English slang ways to say that song is amazing. All right, so I did my research, okay? I went onto YouTube and I watched many great videos <laughs> and I took a screenshots of all the times that I found somebody using these words. So I have proof, I have proof that people use these words, okay? Before we get started, you should know that people are more likely to use a few other words to say song rather than song because the word song is just standard. Most of the time, younger people or people who really love music or just, well, if you're speaking informally, you're gonna refer to a song with a more informal word. These words include track so it's a good track jam it's a good jam tune it's a good tune <laughs> joint is a good joint and beat it's a good beat but normally beat is just for the music or the boom, boom, kick, rather than the actual entire song with the, the lyrics and the vocals and everything as well so the first first word that we have is banger okay so Honestly, that new song by Nicki Minaj is a banger. It's an absolute banger. This is a really, really slangy way to say that that song is like amazing. And you'll see it all over YouTube. People use it all the time. In number two, we have Fresh. That is fresh. That song is fresh. In fact, we use the word fresh a lot for anything that's kind of cool. So, you know, like we can say his style, it's like, it's so fresh. It's like, it's new, it's brand new, it's cool. It's cool in an exciting way. It's, it's fresh. That track is fresh or that jam is fresh. It's very, very street, but it's pretty common. Now the third one that I have is just the word decent. So it's like an adjective. So you can say that song is decent. Decent is a replacement for good or a, a replacement for amazing. But you could also put emphasis on the word decent to, <laughs> to kind of like intensify it. So you can be like, that song is decent. Like it's decent, I like it. Or you can say that song is decent. It's decent. I guess you can kind of use this emphasis with any word really to intensify it, but I do hear a lot of people using it like that. It's very like from the street. It's it's very slang and very urban. I find fresh and decent. They feel to me like they're more like London slang, but I know that we do use them up north or in fact we use them throughout the whole of the UK, but there's a lot of like rap and hip hop and stuff that comes out of London and those songs and the people who um, are in that environment and listen to that kind of stuff, they use these kind of words. So it reminds me of London. Okay, number four is killer. So you can use killer as an adjective. It's not just for songs. You can also use it for people. You could say, honestly, Arsenal are a killer team. So they're an amazing football team, or she's a killer. Killing, it's like you're dead because it's so cool. You can use it as an adjective to describe something or you can just say that track is killer or that beat is killer. Number five, <laughs> this slaps or this joint slaps. I think it's more common to say this joint slaps. It's like a phrase. I guess it's a verb for it's just, it hits you hard, it's cool, it has emphasis, it's awesome. I don't really use that one a lot myself, but I feel like it's something that musicians kind of use because like my sister, she plays the bass guitar and so she slaps the bass. That's what you call it when you're going. 
slapping has a pretty cool feel, you know, it's kind of like, it's funky, it's cool. So when you say you slap the bass or something slaps, it's like, it's cool, you know, it's funky. <laughs> Okay, and the next one, when something goes hard. When something goes hard, it means that it is amazing. It is like hitting you with such impact and such like a huge effect. It is so good. A lot of people, especially people who talk more street, more informal, more slang, they don't always use the right grammar. They don't always speak grammatically perfect and they do this to sound more street sometimes. So for example, um, a normal English speaker would know to say this song goes hard this song it's third person so it goes but to be a little bit more um like cool i guess we say things grammatically incorrect we change it to this go hard this go hard so it's not grammatically correct but we get it. So you can say this track go hard or this track goes hard or he go hard or she goes hard. It's like a way to say that they're like amazing, epic. All right, next one, smooth, smooth. Kind of have this word for more slower songs or more R&B songs where they're a little bit more like uh, Drake or I think of um, really smooth kind of, like The weekend. I guess, could be smooth. Some of his songs are smooth. We say, that's a smooth jam. It's a smooth jam. It's like, it's not really upbeat. It's not huge. It's not gonna like punch you in the face. Feeling some very cool vibes. From listening to the song is smooth it can be used for slower songs as well for slower kind of sexy sultry songs it doesn't go hard okay because going hard is like quite fast quite a, um, a heavy beat some songs they're like really good or they have an amazing beat but they're not fast and they don't go hard <laughs> so you can say smooth <laughs> all right this one is swearing so it's not appropriate for all situations but you can say that this track is the shit and you can actually use the shit for anything that you think is good. So my mom cooked me spaghetti bolognese yesterday. It was the shit. Or The Weeknd released a new album. It's the shit. Anything can be the shit. The shit means it's the best. So yeah, so you can say this track is the shit. This joint is the shit. This tune is the shit. <laughs> the shit. Okay, next. In Britain or in the UK, we use mad a lot. Mad means big or very or huge. And instead, we're gonna say, this is a mad hit. It is a mad hit. Or this, this track is mad. But normally you're gonna see mad hit, mad hit. And a hit is a song that's really, really good, really huge, really successful. And so we say mad hit for something that is just amazing. Maybe it was successful and it was number one in the charts or maybe it wasn't but you think it should have been and so you say you know this is a mad hit. Okay. <laughs> this one I, I use all the time and like my brother and my sister and my people in my area of England say this a lot. It's a tune. A tune. And if you ever party with like English natives, and when I say English natives, I mean um, UK natives. If you ever party with people, if you ever go to a uni party or whatever, you're gonna hear people say tune when a really good song plays. It's just getting started. Give it a minute. Oh, tune. People quite happily and freely scream tune when they hear a really good song. You can say, oh, that's a tune, or that song is such a tune, or oh, it's an absolute tune. <laughs> I say it a lot. All right, so the last one, it's a bop. And a, to bop, <laughs> the verb to bop is when you're like, Okay, just bopping your head, you're bopping it to the beat. So when you say something is a bop, it's something that moves you or it touches you or you like it so much that it makes you like. <laughs> you're not gonna say, oh, this song, it makes me bop my head. I'm bopping my head because that's just really not cool. Nobody says that. But you can say this song is a bop or this track is a bop. All right, so that's all of the British British words that I have for you to um, to to describe a good song. A lot of you have been asking me for more British uh, British slang, British slang, and a lot of you have been asking me for more British words and you know culture in the in the UK and stuff like that. So I'm happy that because I come from there, I can actually teach you this stuff. 
Tell me below a song that you think is an absolute tune or a bop or goes hard. A song that you just absolutely love. So I can go and find the songs because I always like new music, so. You can recommend your best tracks to me. <laughs> All right guys, so I am going to say goodbye and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Have a lovely week and um, yeah, see you in the next video.